it's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's time for me to break up a couple more citrus twist kits. So this is the first one that I've just finished using on a spread that I've probably, if I'm organised enough, have posted up as the same time as this video. But I'm now going to class this kit as done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over my little tub that has die cut pieces that are left from other kits and also there's a random studio calico one in there. I'm gonna bring over that and then I also have this other pot that is full of little bits from Citrus Twist Kits that I got in like a mini grab bag and this is what I go to for sort of extra stuff. So I'm gonna pop those there while I go through and show you what I do have left of this kit. So, uh, as per usual, I have the stamps, so I'm gonna pop those in with my stamp stash. And I do have some of these alphabets left. I've actually used quite a few, considering the size of them, but I am gonna pop those into my alphabet stash, so those will be kept. Now, these chipboard pieces, I did really struggle with these. It's not very often that I find it really hard to use up the embellishments. I can quite often, there might be one or two, excuse me, but there's not normally a lot. These, to be honest, have been really, really hard and they're gonna go. They're gonna go because I can't really see myself using much of them. I'm already on a trying to use up my stash challenge. So they're gonna be passed on to some lucky person Papers wise, it was a six by six pad. I've only got scraps left and yeah, I'm that sort of person. They're going. I don't have the six by six pad. I don't have a, a scrap bin that I would go to on a regular basis. So they're gonna go. Uh, but three by four cards, I only have three left and those will go into my three by four card stash. So the last bit is really whatever die cuts and things that are left. So if I tip all these out, if I can get them out of my little pouch. Static, static, static. So the only thing I'm really gonna check as I go through these is things like the paper clips will actually go in more of the bulky embellishments. And then it's really checking that there's, there's nothing that is something I'm never ever going to use. So I quite like that for a layering piece. I can see myself using the word, though it is a very big word. The only thing I'm really looking for is anything that has an American spelling or talks about Thanksgiving dinner or any, anything sort of like that, which I don't think there is in this kit. Now, this does include all the cutter parts as well, because I have cut them all apart. But no, I'm not seeing anything there that has got anything what I class as spelt wrong. So I'm going to pop those all into my little die cut tub. And I find that I do go to this whenever I'm working with my citrus twist kit. If I can't find something that quite works on that page, or I'm going along a colour scheme that's quite limited in a kit. So let's pop those in there. And then I've still got my um, last little bit of my wooden words in an attempt, wooden word strips in an attempt to use them up. So that's it. That is my July kit classed as done. You may see elements from this in the future, especially if I dip into this die cut pack. But yeah, that's my kit done. So thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all again soon.